So I've used one piece here, one half of this, the horizontal part. Now I'm going to use the vertical part, okay? So I'm going to say, therefore, at the same time, I know what the y value is, right? So I'm going to bring that straight into this equation. I'm going to say h, that's the vertical component, equals v times the time I am now, this time omega thing, which I have here, d on v cos theta, times so theta, just, I'm just substituting in at the moment, haven't done any simplifying whatsoever. Okay, take away five lots of the same time, d on v cos theta, all squared. Okay, that's h. Now, uh, I'll do a tiny, tiny bit of tiny up here, right? It looks like I've gonna, I'm gonna lose the v's on, on this side over here, so I'm just gonna get d sine theta on Cos theta, how does that look? Yeah, if I just, just cancel it out. Take away 5d squared on v squared cos squared theta. How's it looking? Happy? Yeah. Now, just looking at this, you need to pause for a moment, okay? To see whether you are on the right track or not. This is the thing they're always with with identities, right? Now, there are lots of good signals that I'm on the right track. Have a look at the result that was given and have a look at this line. Okay. Now the first thing I notice is it's very tempting to put the sine theta and the cos theta together and write tan theta because that's clearly simpler, right? But I'm not going to. So I want to suggest to me why. There's no tan theta in the result I'm trying to prove, right? In fact, what I do have is the sines and cosines separate, which suggests to me that from this line I'm going to have to like multiply through or divide through or something like that. They're going to end up separating anyway. So no point combining them together at this point. So I've got sine theta and cos theta, which are in this result, that's good. What else is in this result that I want <coughs> in here? Okay, I've got a, a 5D there, so that's good. I wanted that, what else? I've got the cos squared there. And lastly, for things that I want, I've got V squared. That's kind of important, because that's gonna be the subject of this equation, okay? So it's nestled all the way down in that denominator, but I can get there, that's fine. But, at the same time as noticing all these good things about it, right? all these things I want, I also notice I'm missing something and I've got something that I don't need. So I'm missing a tan alpha, in fact there are no alphas here, and I've got something which I'm not meant to have, namely... Okay, so, well actually the, the two things therefore if you're talking about that way. I've got a d squared here and there's no d squared here. But more significantly, I have an H. Like, at least I have the, the right proteural there, right? So he can be fine. But this H shouldn't be here at all, right? This somehow has got to get out of the way, right? Ah. So when you put these two pieces of information together, what you're missing, and this extra thing that you've got together, clearly this can't be a coincidence, right? So you think, well, what's the relationship? What's the relationship between the thing you've got and the thing you're trying to get? Tan alpha. Okay, very good. So if you want to just briefly sketch the critical part of the diagram on your own piece of paper, right? Obviously, you don't need to draw out the whole thing with the basketball and so on. But alpha is down here. It's the angle up to the hoop, right? So you've got the height there and the distance horizontally to the hoop. So clearly, you can see where tan alpha is. It's h on d. Does that make sense? Which therefore suggests to me... What am I going to do from this next line? I'm going to divide everything through by d, okay? That will give me h on d, which is tan alpha. That will give it to me on the left-hand side. So I'm going to divide through. h on d equals... Come in. What So... Let's just pause there. You know how sometimes I, I, I'm showing you a proof and you're like, but how did how would anyone think to do step X, right? It's like, you know, when you add and subtract the same thing or you divide by something. It's like, but why, do you, why would you do that? Like the H is just fine there over on the left hand side. The answer is, well, actually he's not. By looking carefully at what you've got, where you've got to go, that's what kind of gives you signals that I need to do something that's not necessarily obvious so I can get the pieces I want. I'm pretty much there. This, that was the hardest part of part B part one, okay? I'm gonna substitute through this left hand side as tan alpha. And then all that's really left at this point 
is to make V squared the subject. So I just need to be careful and shift things around and all that kind of thing. What would you like me to do? Okay, I could go for a common denominator first, but I actually <coughs> think it might be even more advantageous to me to get rid of as many fractions as I can. Because notice, see that tan alpha in the result of trying to prove, do you notice he's actually part of a product, right? So being that it's gonna get attached to a closed squared theta in a second, I might as well just do it now because that will get rid of some stuff over the right hand side. So if I multiply through, which by the way is equivalent essentially to getting the common denominator, I'm going to get cos squared tan alpha here. What's going to happen to this tan theta? It'll be sine theta cos theta or in the order they've given us, sine cos theta sine theta, I think. There you go. Okay. And what you get left with over here is that. Okay. So it looks to me like to get the denominator I want here, all I need is to swap these guys from left to right. Does that make sense? So I'm going to put 5d on v squared over here. Do you see where I'm going now? we we'll take a reciprocal in a second. And this gets me on the right hand side that very intimidating denominator that I had before. There it is, right there. And I'm pretty much home, aren't I? I'll just take reciprocals. And the last thing I need to do is multiply through. Does that make sense? Yeah? So I've got to get my... I'm not even going to write it down. There's the result. I've already got it up here. Okay. How are you feeling about that? Three marks worth of work, right? So that was not easy to access. Don't feel if you're like, whoa. Really? Okay. Um, that's a hard part to get into this question, which is why the mean marks for the rest of this, the rest of the parts were so low, because some people didn't even get over this bar. Uh, I used it right here, here. Does that make sense? So I used this equation in order to have an expression for time, which I could, the particular time when I go through the hoop, so that I could pop it into my y equation. Does that make sense? So I used this first. I used it first because it was simpler, right? I can make t the subject very easily here, whereas here it's a bit of a disaster. Um, that I can see it's going to get squared out. That's where my second <coughs> Okay, very good.